East Palestine recovers. Students in East Palestine are returning to school starting today. And district officials say there will be extra support as kids come back. First News reporter Hannah Erdman is live outside the schools going in depth. Hannah. Yeah, good morning. This is one of the first few steps for residents to return to normalcy, and that's getting kids back into the classroom. School officials say they are ready to go. However, they do understand that there are going to be some students missing for the next few days, and that's because still many families are displaced. They're awaiting air monitoring or cleaning services within their homes. East Palestine superintendent tells me this was to be expected. This is uh, uh, certainly a, a tough situation. Uh, that, that none of us are really prepared for, but, but we'll work with our families. We'll make sure that we do what we can to support them. Never says families that were still displaced can contact their child's school today if they've not done so already. For those returning to school, teachers and staff are prepared. Counseling support will be available for students if they need to talk. Neffer says that the teachers and staff have been working diligently over the past week, going through some additional professional development to handle trauma and their students going through at these uncertain times. But the schools in their classrooms are not the only place that they were seeing these impacts. Other things like sports and extracurriculars were impacted as well. And coming up in the next half hour, I'll have what the next steps for those activities are. Reporting live in East Palestine, Hannah Erdman, First News This Morning.